I wouldn't have permabanned him. I would have definitely Wait. hit him with a 72 hour. Is Aiden but... permabanned? No, 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 no. He's not. He's not banned at all. Oh, okay. Jesus. You do? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold yeah. on. I didn't consent to your questions. Okay, are you not ready to have these questions? It's okay if you're not ready to have this discussion. Well, I can already hear in the tone of your voice that you're here for for gotcha moments and you're here well, for complete bullshit. Yeah, it does feel like an ambush, but uh, pixie, huh? Do I have you blocked on Twitter? Um, <laughs> you've carried the content over for six years. It's been six years and you've still held it. Well, that's why I was so what do you mean no train wreck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a clip, if you guys want to talk about this, a clip on Twitter that's been ongoing on all these blog, blog uh, places of basically something I said uh, about offending um, some type of group of people. And I just want to, from the bottom of my heart, uh, apologize for absolutely nothing. Okay? I'm Aiden Ross, and Aiden Ross is going to say what the f he says. Yo, Aiden, if you're watching this, brother, I would argue that you have the pussy. You're too scared to lead a group of kids younger than you. You give in to what they think of you. The fact that I can stay with my decisions, stay with my principles and how I feel, no matter the hate I get from both sides, I can usually pander to your community and say F your side, that they'd be a great asset. To have your entire fucking chat love me would be a great asset for me. But I don't do that because I'm not someone that's gonna give in, uh, uh, give in to my own shit because I wanna be approved by a bunch of kids that don't give a f Tomorrow I lose everything. You understand? And not to mention you would be six times your size if you put your foot down and you led your community instead of being led by them. What you did right there about saying, oh, I apologize for nothing. That wasn't you. I know who you are off stream. That wasn't you. That was literally the insecure you that's pandering to a bunch of kids and is, is fearful of what those kids might think of him if he apologized. You're, you're scared of what kids will think of you because you'll look like a bitch to kids. Who f cares? If you're a leader and you're truly confident and successful, you don't give a f what your f 18 year olds think about you. What's going on with you and Aiden? I didn't catch up with that drama. People were mad about some shit. What happened? Uh, nothing. It just, um, you know, he just, I think he should have just went live. Like, I mean, I'm, I, I know who he is off stream. He's a, he's not a hateful person. He's a good kid. And I just think he should have went live and been that good kid and just recognized that what he said was just wild. Right? Like it was just, it was just, it, it was just, it, it was just trashy. It was just wrong. I think he should have just recognized it, apologized, and moved on. But instead, I felt like he gave in to what he thought would look cool in front of his audience. And that, that, that just, I, I just, I don't know. It just rubbed me the wrong way. And I just think it's, I think it's selfish of him, not only in terms of, you know, the overall view, but just in terms of kick. I don't know. So I just kind of, uh, I just thought his apology was half-assed and I think he should have just been more, you know, he, just, he should have just been straightforward and just went on there and apologized and moved on. Because mm -hmm. I, I, I talked to him off stream. He's not about any of that stuff that he like says. Like, if you would have said something along the lines of like, fuck slash them, obviously that's still terrible and fucked up, but it's nowhere near the lines or, 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 or like, it's just nowhere near saying kill slash them. That, that's just bad. That's just really fucking bad. So I think you should, uh, I don't know. I think you should have went live and kind of, I know what he meant. I know what he was thinking when he said that. Like he wasn't thinking of it as like the sentence of kill them, inciting that violence. You know, like I think, he, you know, but <laughs> he just needs to go live and, you know, and, and apologize and that there was no clarification there. Like I know, I know that because I know him off stream, but no one else knows him off stream. So like, y you have to understand that 99.9 .9 out of a hundred times, there's no shot anyone, and they shouldn't is going to see the benefit of the doubt in saying something that fucking wild. Like that, that that is a, to me, that's a trashy, disgusting thing to say, the kill slash them remark, right? Okay. And I give him the example. Um, I give him the example, right? Fuck slash them. In my opinion, that's still you know transphobic. That's still fucked up. But, you know, with the way he behaved, that's something, if you, if you would have said something like that, mm -hmm. you know, I would still disagree. I wouldn't be able to get behind that, but maybe you could like be like, okay, whatever, you know, this guy's an idiot, but like to do what he did after saying kill slash them, like, wait, what did that, he do? I don't even know. I didn't even see the fucking what happened. I've been, he watched some, he watched the clip of, uh, he watched the clip of you 
watching Micro- a clip of oh, teachers okay, teaching their children. Let me, what, it's like 37 seconds. Let me watch this real quick. Give me 20 seconds. Yeah. Time's two. Micro number to Z, M, Z, M, Z, Outer bird, mixed cocktail. Mix C is my teacher. So cringe, bro. I don't think I will want my kid in this Great class. Job. Am I reactionary? I wonder if Nathan has to bro. So all you guys, I get to pick your pronouns. My pronouns is kill slash them, okay? All y'all, bro. Y'all are making the world a shitty place, bro. I'm gonna call you a, either a guy or a girl. I'm not calling you by a cat, by a turtle. I'm gonna go f- that tail. F- Whiskers, I'm gonna go f- bro. I'm not, I'm gonna go f- bro. Fuck all y'all, bro. Self entitled pussies. My pronouns are. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I just think it was too far. Like, I know what he was trying to convey. Mm-hmm. I <laughs> what get was it. he trying to convey? <laughs> I think he just. Like. <sighs> I don't want to sound like a <laughs> apologist or whatever yeah. the fuck, right? Like the, the, there is, there's no way you can ever turn that into anything good. So by uh-huh. no means am I doing that. <laughs> yeah. But like, what I mean is, he's not someone that's hateful. So like, I, I think he's just a dumb f- that said something dumb as hell. But I don't, I truly believe he didn't intend for what, like, what he said and what it means. I don't think he intended. But what he said is unacceptable and it's unforgivable. He should have went live, re-clarified what he tried to say. Uh huh. And instead he's like, oh, it's a joke. It's like the, in no world can that be a joke. That's what I tried conveying to him. There, there's no context in which you could argue that that's a joke. Like there isn't one. Mm-hmm. There, there just, there, there is not a context. I can, and that's me, bro. I'm an anti-cancel culture motherfucker. Like I, I say f- both the sides, right? I'm, and even in my view, there's no way, there's no context where you can like make that joke in that tone. So it's like, I, I think he should have just went live. He should have been who he is off stream, the one that I talked to, right? And he should have just re-clarified, put his foot down and, you know, apologize for that and, 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 and walked it back. But instead he went live and what I felt like he was doing and maybe maybe it's just from what i've seen in my life and maybe i'm projecting onto him from what i've seen from others mm-hmm. but it just felt like he was too concerned about looking like a bitch in front of his viewers so instead he doubled down in a way i mean he apologized he gave a half ass apology and i say half ass because before that he's like i apologize for absolutely nothing and then he played music and danced right mm-hmm. so it's just like i just think it's highly inappropriate like you know what i mean like i'm someone that uh, for the most part, if I say some shit that pisses some sensitive people off, you know, I tell them to suck my dick. But if I say some heinous shit like that, uh-huh. and t- especially in today's atmosphere, right, where there really is no excuse anymore, it's like <sighs> there has to be a level of accountability, in my opinion, right? Damn. There has to be some level. If there's none at all, then everyone's just going to use, oh, it was a joke, it was this, it was that, mm-hmm. constantly, right? And they're going to just say everything and anything. There just has to be a line where you make clear. That that's not acceptable and that's not okay and i just feel like it didn't happen so you know kind of gave one of my lectures wow did you uh would you guys would you guys ever ban from kick permanently um so like that's where the disconnect between me and other owners comes from mm-hmm. if i had the full power right obviously there's like a due process like an oversight where all the owners kind of get together and decide mm-hmm you know, and I have my vote. Um, it was up to me. You know, I would have, I wouldn't have permabanned him. I would have definitely Wait. hit him with a seventy-two hour. Is Aiden permabanned? No, 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 no. He's not. He's not banned at all. Oh, okay. Jesus. No, I'm no, 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 no. What I meant is, I wouldn't permaban him, but I would definitely hit him with a seventy-two, especially with what he did when he came back. Mm-hmm. And there was other streamers on this platform that I would have permabanned. Mm-hmm. Not Aiden. I, I don't think, you know what I mean? Like, I, I wouldn't have permanent Aiden, but I would have definitely permanent other streamers on this platform already. The problem is, I think we're still, uh, like, me and the other owners, we're still, like, in talks of what that line is. Mm-hmm. Obviously, we don't want hate speech and nudity. Obviously, those rules have been broken. And we're just kind of getting in meetings every day, figuring out uh, where that line is, building a moderation team, mm-hmm. getting a larger moderation team to, like, watch everything. And Moderating is... Doing non perma bands is really hard. Here's something that I found when it comes to moderating my community. This is something that's really challenging. Yeah. Is because you never want somebody doing a calculus for is it worth it, and then them breaking the rules. That's why, like for a while, like I almost and I still kind of do this. I'm basically like, if you do something really bad, I just perma ban you. Like I don't, I, I very rarely do I do like time bans, or if I do time bans, they're huge. Because it's like if I ban you for a day, like who cares? Like if it's a really funny f- 
mean and it breaks the rules you'll do it who cares if you get banned for a there even like three days like if it's funny enough you do it but you never want people like weighing that in their head like is this funny enough that i can agreed. break the rule yeah so it's a real completely but, agreed yeah so i'm a, I'm a fan of like seven day bans or longer like you're never banning for fucking, streamer bans for 24 hours are a fucking joke i think but. yeah the problem is like what you said is exactly correct mm -hmm. and this is something i've preached on twitch as well right mm -hmm. Because they come back and they're just like, oh, what's up, guys? And you get like more famous for it almost, right? Like, you get more famous, yes. Yeah. So the, 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 that example of uh, doing the calculus is exactly to the T correct of what's going on, right? Like, mm -hmm. especially if you're a small to mid-sized creator and even sometimes large creator, you can, you know, do the math. Yeah. How much attention you're going to get, how large you're going to get from this 24 hours and shit, right? Or you're not going to get banned. So it's like it, it causes a real toxic environment. Yeah. And it causes, it will cause more issues later on and i and my, my my primary point to this to the owners when i get into calls with them is this mm -hmm. i understand their position right now they kind of want to just you know go in do their thing you know let anything go for the most part right the problem is and this is where i kind of attack from that sounds good but it's very short-sighted. Yeah, I was going to say the problem with that is that at some point it's going to change and exactly. people are going to feel like you pulled the rug out from under them. Exactly. And the narrative is going to be we're no different than Twitch. Exactly. So at one point when we have to monetize, which we have to do, mm -hmm. right, with all of our splits, we have to, uh, uh, you know, get deals, sponsors, ads. Mm -hmm. So at some point, I mean, obviously we have a plan because we're, we're still going to keep it more free, yeah. right? We're not going to work with any... Uh, anyone that requires us to be as strict as twitch mm -hmm. so we're going to maintain that freedom and we already have a plan of who we're going to work with but the the blatant nudity and the and the hate speech mm -hmm. is going to have to be cracked down upon at some point and if you let it roam for the short-term benefit or sorry, for what they believe is the long-term benefit, but for what I know as a streamer that's been in the game for a while is a short-term benefit, what you just said is exactly correct. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to change up on people, and that's going to make people feel, especially ones that have established their brands on the platform, right, for yeah. a year or two years, it's going to make them feel betrayed. It's going to make them feel like we're just another Twitch. It's going it, to, yeah. it's just going to feel really shitty. So this this is where my experience comes in i just hope they listen i've been i've been hammering every day like we just need to get a baseline tos and we need to be very strict about those baselines we're already letting people be so f free it's already a blessing like and i keep telling them i've been in the game a long time i know that what we're offering is already a blessing that freedom that knowing that you're not going to get banned for dumb f shit mm -hmm. is a blessing for streamers that have no uh, uh like guaranteed financial security in or stability in, in terms of not knowing when this hype or when this thing's gonna die, right? Mm -hmm. In terms of our viewerships or in terms of live streaming in general, right? Or the next waves. So it's like, what we're doing is already great. So you don't have but, to push the boundaries so yeah, hard, like, yeah. Exactly, mm -hmm. like we've offered this amazing thing and people, you know, we, we, we gave an inch, people take a yard. And yeah. It's like, we need to stop that now because if we stop it in a year, people are gonna feel betrayed even though, you're right? So it's like, I've been pushing heavily for that and they're beginning to listen. So that's the good part. They're beginning to listen. They're beginning to understand, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm somebody that, that wants to have like contextual bands, right? So if one person does one thing, the other person does another thing, the context does matter. Mm -hmm. I know Twitch said that, but never applied it. I think that was Twitch's mistake. Although then again, I would also argue that I don't think anyone at Twitch had the, um, um, I'll use like late, more layman's terms for this. They, they didn't have the in real life experience and the on the internet experience to understand the context, right? To, or, or to understand the complexity of the, con uh, or just to understand context in general. Yeah. So it's, it seemed like that they had, you know, both their feet in the internet side, but they had no real life uh, experience because based on their context bands, it was real f***ing odd. Like mm -hmm. it seemed like just pure favoritism. It didn't seem like context mattered at all unless you, uh, we're having dinner with the president of Twitch, you know, yeah, with yeah. your parents, right? So it's like, I do want context bans, but the problem is, and I do understand intention versus effect bans, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, a lot of owners say, oh, well, he's a good kid. He didn't mean this. It's like, yeah, I understand that. But you have to understand, making a mistake once every week, you can only use, well, he's a good kid, you know, so much. Yeah. There has to be a point where you put a foot down. I understand he's a good kid. I understand I'm a good kid. You're a good kid. Mm -hmm. But there has to be a point that you let the idiot know that he's 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 causing weight. Do you understand? Like it's not it's not okay. Yeah, of course. Like, so it's like I've been pushing really hard behind the scenes to at least get a baseline 
so we can have you know a level of consistency now because mm -hmm. having it in a year or a year and a half is going to be a big mistake mm -hmm. it's gonna yeah. be a big one rolling so. out features and everything is yeah it's really 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 complicated yeah 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 why don't Hi. oh um, we've got I'm pixie so our resident <laughs> sjw how's it going yeah yeah, I don't really have questions about like lone wolves or anything like that. Um, I just have some questions for you, Trainwrecks, like totally not involved in any of that stuff. Uh -oh. um, so no. apologies. Um, so I'm just wondering, like you do- Hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on. I didn't consent to your questions. Okay, are you not ready to have these questions? It's okay if you're not ready to have this discussion. Well, I can already hear in the tone of your voice that you're here for for gotcha moments, and you're here well, for complete bullshit. This is not. <laughs> True. A, wait, wait, no. This is not like a oh gotcha. This is a legitimate question because I am actually streaming on your platform right now, Kick, and I wonder some things that have to do with like how you view morality and how you view your past consequences versus now. Uh -oh. Um, I want to be very clear. I don't think that there's like any like inherent like moral like hmm. straight up wrongs. I'm just wondering about whether certain things are consistent or not and like how you deal with it or how you think about it. But if you think it's bullshit, that's okay. We don't have to have this conversation. I just wanted, I, don't, I was genuinely I don't, curious. I don't, think, I don't think it's bullshit. I just think uh, the initial vibe of the way you came in <laughs> was very aggressive <laughs> to be a I full believe... disclosure she did dm me and she's like can i come in and ask me questions like if you want to go for it so just as a heads up <laughs> well you should have let me know then that destiny oh my god yeah, you just let me know after <laughs> i called it out oh well, there you go now you know but okay <laughs> can you give me breach ambush stream can you... yeah it does feel like an ambush but uh can you explain to me i mean pixie huh do i have you blocked on twitter <laughs> um, i don't think so <laughs> What's your Twitter? Giga Chad. P X I E Love and then like with two E's at the end. Oh wait. Uh oh. I'm 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 confusing you for somebody else. I apologize. Who are you confusing okay. her for? Oh my god! <laughs> I know who. <laughs> there was somebody that was just saying some like extremist. Like I'm talking like absolutely wild shit. Oh, like, never mind. Like, I thought you were confusing it for uh, Pichu Chu. Pixel. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay. so, uh, I forgot who it was exactly. Anyways, I do want to apologize. Um, I did confuse it for somebody else, so that's my fault. Okay, it's okay. I mean, the converse, I'll be candid. Oh, oh, not candid. I don't know what the right word is. Um, I'll tell you ahead of time what the conversation topic is about. And if you want to have it now, cool. If you don't, that's also cool. If you rather have a conversation like separately, like not live stream because you're afraid of like gotcha moments and stuff like that, that's also fine. I just have like genuine questions about like how you view things through a moral compass, if that's okay. Um, regarding what? Um, regarding like the starting of your platform, um, gambling and OnlyFans. Ooh. Okay. Um, hmm. Can I can I preface uh, your questions with this question? Go for it. When looking at uh, uh, Kick and owners of Kick being owners of Stake, do you hold the same consistency for Amazon being the parent company of Twitch? Do you hold the same consistency for DraftKings, FanDuel, and other slot casinos being pushed through Amazon, through Twitch, constant ads to actual children, audiences that have uh, majority children? That's what I want to ask you. So like, if that's the conversation you want to have, then I, all I ask is the same consistency for Amazon and for Twitch, which believe me, if you put it on a side-by-side -side list, and by no means do I want to uh, start you know, justifying lesser evils with greater evils, but if you do put it on a side-by-side -side list of the atrocities Amazon has committed on a worldwide scale, believe me, your fight would be with Twitch and Amazon, not kick and stake. Yeah, no, I don't have any like moral judgment myself. Like right now, I'm not really like passing judgment onto um, kick or onto even like Twitch and Amazon. Um, yeah. I just have questions about how like you've had judgment like in the past and how that relates to now. So by, I, by past, how, how long are we talking? Are we doing a ten-year dive, six-year dive, four-year dive, yeah. six month? Okay, so I'm not exactly sure. That's why that's part of the questions I want to ask to be able to understand like if there's been like this change or not. So I'm just I'm gonna just ask you the questions because I feel like we're dancing around it and it's gonna yeah, be ask me yeah, ask me one question at a time. I have to eat soon, which okay. I told Destiny to be fair. <laughs> yep. He did. 
I did. So you let me know what your questions are, and if I can't answer them, I will happily answer them. What okay. was it again? Pizza or not? Not pizza pops. That's me. I tomato was. I was. I was, I was just starting between tomato soup and grilled cheese versus tacos. There's this. Mm. There's this delicious taco place that has, in my opinion, sorry, Pixie, for uh, 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 going on this tangent, Uncle, but I have to do it. I just. Okay. I'm really. I'm really passionate about these tacos. <laughs> I've so for me big tacos are a big no-no. I just hate big tacos, okay? There's these there's this taco place where it's like tacos that are like maybe like the tortilla is like maybe 2 inches uh uh uh, uh in and what was that length and how would a circle be in diameter? 2 inches in di diameter, I guess would be the best way to say it. It's just a small taco, it's 2 bites and it's absolutely fucking phenomenal, right? Those are the tacos. It's just this bite-sized or I should say two bite-sized uh, a delicious thing filled with just a multitude of tastes or would plethora be the better word i just woke up yeah could i use plethora of tastes or would you plethora would be is that more used for uh i don't know whatever Continue. i think plethora would work it's a little it's a little verbose but i think it works. well i think shouldn't plethora be used for like you know how about cornucopia actual, of tastes how about a cornucopia of tastes <laughs> i like that but then but then it sounds like i'm a starcraft 2 pro anyways continue Okay, so I know in a lot of your early or mid-career, you were talking about like against OnlyFans um, or against like these like e-thoughts on Twitch, et cetera, et cetera, um, mm -hmm. that they're preying like on young men and that they're like getting addicted to like porn, et cetera, et cetera. No, 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 no. I, I need to, re I, I need to uh, clarify okay. for you. So that was never my angle. My angle was squad W double standard. So what I would say is, you know, um, somebody will go out and they will look for attention through the use of sexuality, right? And then obviously in, you know, life, in order for one, po for positive to exist, negative must also exist, right? So what would happen is you would use sexuality to gain attention and they would pick and choose positive and negative attention. So if they saw, let's say 80 positive comments, they would love it and they'd want to continue to do it and then they'd see two comments they'd screenshot those two comments and then they would falsely get behind the movements that i believe are in place for a good reason you know whether it's for uh, uh, anti-sexism or you know anti-misogyny or whatever the uh, you, you know the good movements that are giving uh, women a platform and a women a voice they get behind those platforms they pervert them manipulate them use them for their own gain while they are did, did you understand that that's what that, that was the squad w movement i was referring to i have no issue with people doing those things i have an issue when they you know make their own bed and then they complain about the you know uh, uh, uh negative sides of the shortcuts they're taking right like they're damn they damn know that they, they damn well know what they're doing when, when they're going th with that shortcut of sexuality right rather than using personality or who they are they're using sexuality right they're objectifying themselves when you take that shortcut to build an audience you have to understand there is going to be that right there's going to be negatives that come with it so when you look at those negatives and you play oblivious to why they're happening I, I don't believe that anyone deserves or is deserving of those negatives i don't think it's justified but to play oblivious to why it's happening and to blame it for a reason that they're oblivious of is is what i was talking about that was the squad w double standard that i thought was just ridiculous but yeah things have changed now that i've uh, grown older and experienced more but i'm just clarifying what i was saying back then Okay, um, do you see now how like there's like kind of like con like a little bit of contradictory sentiment or thought in that? Um, or so have you changed your opinion on that or do you still hold the same opinion? Or do you see now like, oh yeah, like back then, like I had this position, but it kind of contradicts itself a little bit. So now I've kind of moved on from that. Why does it contradict itself? Well, you're talking about like how women um, shouldn't complain about harassment or um, how they shouldn't complain. I never about said that. Well, you, said, you said, oh, you know, they're trying to, like, co-opt these movements about sexism, even though they know what they're doing. Well, and what they're doing is being well, sexual. Well, define harassment. See, like, the, the, the issue comes okay. here, right? So uh, I, I think that's right. So, for example, would you agree that every streamer has a baseline? Oh, fuck me and Destiny. This is PTSD for me and Destiny. <laughs> Destiny's going to say, well, are they shit talking? I'm just listening. Listen, man. I'm not here to take sides. I'm here just listening. Okay. No, I, I hear your voice, but it, don't forget three years later, you realized I was fucking right about it all. So I'm going to need a little assistance. I don't know about, the, uh, right about all of it, I'm listening. Go ahead. Keep, do your thing. Oh, it, it just, so here's what I'm referring to. Okay. 
no woman or no person is deserving of any harassment whatsoever okay even if they no see this is where see uh -oh. this is why these conversations can't be had with certain people okay and I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll i'll give you an example to what i mean okay okay let's say have you seen those videos on twitter where somebody is like for a prank for youtube is fucking with somebody and then he just gets knocked the fuck out based right some most people are going to take the high road and virtue signal and say that is wrong he should yeah he was just playing a prank on him and harassing him and fucking with him he didn't deserve to get hit that's assault he just be in jail i would argue no he was sitting there fucking with him at the expense of everyone else's convenience he sat there harassing the other individual for content and views he deserved to get knocked the fuck out now any other creator that's trying to build a name for themselves is going to virtue signal and say no that's against the law he shouldn't have got punched for that right so I can't have conversations with people who virtue signal me and don't understand the distinction the differences between the context of different situations. You understand now, if somebody walks in and says, hey, you're ugly, and then they get punched in the face, I don't believe that's right. I believe that person who punched in the face should go to jail. That's not okay. But the problem is a lot of people are bad faith actors and they don't apply these different contexts in different situations. They muddy the waters and jumble everything into the same boat because that's what they're pandering to and that's what gets them views. Wait, do you think I'm virtue signaling right now? I don't know, we'll find out. Ooh. Okay, because <laughs> the reason why, like, I'm, I'm kind of just confused. So I'm just trying to like yeah. understand everything. Because I'm thinking like, oh, you know, um, there are women who are, you know, like movie streamers, like they use their sexuality and that's how they get like views and stuff. But I don't think that's deserving of people like saying, oh, like, you know, like you're a stupid whore or bitch, or even just like saying like, that's the only thing you're good for, right? Because somebody can be sexy and have a personality. Like these things aren't inherently separate things. They, I agree with you. I agree with you. But here's the problem. On one hand, you're using the individual that's only using the, the sexual, they're only using the content style or the shortcut of objectifying themselves, right? You're using the example of that person and then bringing in the person who's actually sitting there and being sexy while also having a personality or also building an audience around a personality, right? Like, so th th that's what I mean by the mixing up of context. I agree with you completely. Somebody who's just sitting there that's beautiful or cares about the way they look or maybe has, you know, you know, it takes pride in, you know, certain assets that they may have, which I, I'm sure you'll have an issue with the way I just said assets, but you know, like that's fine. They don't, they're not deserving of anything. Right, I don't think should be getting any sort of shit and they could ban that shit and you know, whatever the fuck. But if you're objectifying yourself and it's only that and you're doing it for the comments of you're so beautiful, you're so hot, let me give you money, let me give you this, please let me have you this. You're going to, by default, by the nature of how things work, in an ideal world, I agree with you, there should be all positive comments, all good. But in this world where everything is kind of this, you know, everything's in this light of duality, right? You're going to, here's what I'm arguing, okay? I do not believe the bad comments are justified. I do not believe the bad comments are deserving. What I believe is the individual that is doing that content style should be aware that those comments are bound to happen. So they should put into place a moderation system to see those comments and play innocent and say, why did I get this? is what I'm against. I, th I think you're playing, I think not, not you, when I say you're, I'm talking in general. I think you're playing stupid when you kind of play that victim card of oh why why is this person saying this like you're sitting there and you're making your tits the main screen right and then everyone's commenting on your tits saying you have great tits you have nice tits and you're ex you're allowing those comments so you're going to get one asshole that's going to come and say oh those tits look saggy you dumb bitch right is that justified no is that disgusting yes should that person be permanent yes but to play stupid to why that comment is happening is my issue you understand to be oblivious to why that's happening and to like make it into this way bigger thing than it is is my issue i mean can i offer you a different perspective sure. um i think when women are saying like oh like why is this happening or it sucks that this is happening etc cetera, etc cetera, they're not saying like they have absolutely no idea like they know that there's like people who are like like very like sexist or you know hateful online in general right so that's going to lead to like comments that are hateful everybody knows that it's an internet etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, I think what they're referring to is that they don't understand like why these people feel the need to direct that hate towards oh, them. Oh, I agree with you. Right? I agree with you. It, it's it, Yeah, the, the, those people are fucking insecure, absolute disgusting, projecting their misery onto everybody else. So I agree with you. Those people are fucking clowns. And yeah. I agree with that take completely. You're right. Like yeah. they have every right to question that. Yeah, so I think um, 
may, so maybe this is just something to like keep in mind in the future and maybe your mind has already changed etc cetera, etc cetera, from the past um, but it's just this idea that women, I don't think women are really playing clueless when they say like, why is this happening? I think they're just interpreting it in the lens of like, why well, do they feel the it's, need? It's also to- women. Well, it's women and men. It's not just women. Men do this all the time too, right? Like they do it all the time too, just in a different respect, right? Like they, they do it all the time. So, and I clarify that as well. well what do you mean by men do this as well? Can you be more specific? So, for example, I'll give you an example of someone who did it on Twitch. Greek God X. Uh oh. I don't know if you remember. I don't know if you remember the stream where he uh, came on with shorts that showed a ridiculous bulge. Right. <laughs> we all know that before. We know that you can feel that the bulge is showing. We know that you can look in there. Now, any defense would be, oh, so you're telling me what he can and can't wear? Are you telling me he felt it? Oh, you're telling me how he feels, how he had to see this, right? Anyone with virtue signal would say, oh, that's bullshit. You're justifying this and this and this and this and this and that. But in reality, we know under the table, he knew exactly what the fuck he was doing. So to come live, right? And to expect not that there not to be comments regarding it and to play oblivious and to get behind a hundred movements of this and that is ridiculous. Do you understand? He knew what he was getting into when he decided to do that. That's all I'm saying. Now, whether the comments are justified or not, I'm not arguing that. They're not justified. Do you understand? Just because he knows what he's doing doesn't mean he deserves hate for it. But to play oblivious to the comments you're going to get regarding it when you knew what you're doing when you wore, when he wore that, that's what I have an issue with. I'll never win that argument because you have a pl- everyone has a plausible deniability uh, uh, um, uh, defense to hide behind. No one's going to be truthful and honest and say, okay, yeah, I know what I was doing. Yeah, I, before stream, I went in the front of the mirror for 45 fucking hours and I looked and I made sure my tits or my balls or my dick popped out in this perfect way. No one's going to admit that because why? It doesn't get your views to admit that. It gets your views to get behind the actual movements that are doing good, that are actually pushing for change, using them for these situations and, and misusing them for these situations actually. Does that make any sense? I kind of went on a tangent right I, there. But. I think that makes sense. Are you basically kind of saying that like you don't like when people play act stupid about it all or like play victim because at the end of the day everybody knows when you uh, play stupid games you win stupid prizes? Is that kind exactly? Of the idea? And I hate yeah. when they use the actual movements that are giving women or men or whoever a voice and an actual platform that's pushing for change and equality. They're using those platforms to to like aid nothing but their own view uh, sorry but nothing but their own gains and view count and money right like i hate that like did you understand like getting in front of a camera and let's say from greek situation and hoping your balls pop out a certain way so people see it and you get attention and then going behind let's say a you know uh freedom for all men uh platform and saying oh i got you know someone said my balls are fucking small uh blah 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 right and getting using that movement to try and enact some sort of change like to me that's just that is exactly what ruins those movements. That is exactly what destroys them. That's exactly what takes the power away from them. They're just, yeah, they're, I just they're false flag operations. I, I think we just have a fundamental disagreement of what most people mean or say when they're saying like, oh, like, um, you know, I don't understand why this is happening to me, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, because I'm pretty sure most like booby streamers or whatever own the fact that they're booby streamers. Like they never like, you know, completely deny otherwise. Or they say they're not just that because again, like parasocial relationships, streaming, you have to have some level of personality or at least a little bit something else um, to keep people in, right? Um, I feel like the only, I feel like the only fundamental difference we have is being fabricated in your head because I I, I don't, I, I don't see where we have a fundamental difference at all. Well, the reason why I say we have a fundamental difference is because you're saying like, you know, this is just annoys me that people are acting like, you know, dumb about this. And I don't think people are acting dumb or the amount about of people who are acting, acting dumb about, uh, about what? Um, about the fact that like they're getting harassment um, yeah, but, because you, they're doing but, but, like, but see, streams, well, But listen, w- one, once again, you're doing what I said in the beginning is going to be done. You're what taking you the you're taking the con. Listen, I'm not saying everyone is doing no, no, this. No, saying- I, I don't understand why bring it up if it's not like a majority of people to begin with, right? And otherwise, you're making an issue out of like basically. Why bring a, a it up? Because, wait, hold on. Why bring it up? Because it's when it's not the majority of people like, to deal with. The vast, if the vast majority of booming but doesn't, streamers. But, but doesn't that go against your entire argument of every movement of equality? Right, the minority. It, think about that. Are people being a, like? Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me that um, by booby streamers complaining about this stuff, um, other people are being oppressed? Is that your argument? 
No, it's not my Bobby, argument. I heard, <laughs> I it's not my argument. I'm saying that the fundamentals of your arguments are it doesn't matter if it's one person or a hundred per people, right? That's no. my argument. I heard booby streamers and I arrived. That was what I was trying to say. None of the words came out that. How are you doing, Train? It's been a while. So now you're justifying uh, the, the, her, uh, the, the the misuse of platforms for a couple people and saying that's okay as long as the right that, no, that makes I'm no saying, sense. I'm saying that if He's you're going, yeah, I'm saying if you're going to make an argument about this group in general, right? I didn't you, I didn't make an argument about any group. Well, I, you were literally in the beginning, or you know, referring to the past or whatever. You were saying like these booby streamers, like that implies booby streamers more than one. Yeah, streamer and, and if you general. watched and, and if you watched my stream and didn't see a six second clip, right, then you would have understood the context behind it. But you didn't care to look at the six second clip. Why? Because you want me to say those things because it gives no, you content. Mag, I literally Other, have. A, see, I've, woman, I've, woman, you've carried the content over for six years. It's been six years and you've still held it. Well, that's why I was. So what do you mean asking, no train wreck? Whoa, 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 whoa! That's why I came in here and was trying to ask you questions, not for a stupid gotcha moment, but to understand how your positions have changed over time. Because there's like hundreds and hundreds of hours of content, right? Um, I'm not like, you know, a lot of different things that could be said in and out of context, et cetera, et cetera. Even things in context might not be like completely clear sometimes. Right. So okay. that's why I'm here asking you the questions. Okay. If so, I wanted to like so, 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 talk to so, you for content, so, so, then so, I would so, just like be here. Um, I already assume you're going to. I assume you're going to. Just uh, how about we do this? Why do you how assume we... I'm so bad faith, man? Like, fuck. Because everyone in politics is. Just nice. hear me out real quick. Hear me okay. out real quick, okay? Why don't you, instead of us, you know, kind of padding our words and, you know, extending this conversation out longer than it should be, right? Just ask me the question directly. Just a a ask me what you want to ask me directly. Say it with your chest. Well, the question that I wanted to ask you in the beginning was like, okay, do you think the OnlyFans stuff is immoral or wrong? Or do you think, what do you think about that in general? That was my first question that I want to ask you. Do I believe OnlyFans is immoral or wrong? Uh, yeah. Absolutely not. Okay, cool. That's like literally basically the main thing that I wanted to get across. Immoral or wrong? I don't think I've ever thought OnlyFans is or any sort of uh, uh, sex selling being immoral or wrong. Okay, cool. Yeah. That was my main question. That's why I wanted to make sure and clarify. Like that's cool. Next question. Oh. Well, Let's no. do all direct questions. Let's do all direct questions because I just woke up and my mind is too foggy for anything uh, too complex. Direct questions only. Next. Hey, I can see. The stuff that you're referring to, like, how long are we talking back? Well, I was just curious What she's about... talking is 2017. Oh, so she is still referring to, like, the job to spam. She's talking, yeah, we're, we're going back. <laughs> we're going back six years in time for this conversation. I so. so I got that train, by the way. It was very annoying. You were off before lie. donating. Yeah, it was fucking that was annoying, a, mate. That, that was great. The, the, the well, good was, days of the memes. Funny. You, it's not so funny for me. I just got a bunch of people spurging in my chat. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I apologize for that. If if you have names, I actually uh, oh, no, it was I'll, I'll ha names. okay, yeah, I'll happily ban all those people. Like, I actually have one of the highest uh, ban rates in my chat because uh, I, I have moderators sitting in other chats, and if any of my viewers ever go into any chat, even my enemies' chats, I still ban them for harassment because like that's something I'm not for or. Uh, uh, in support of so if anyone from my community that or you feel like is from my community uh, is doing that to you or it did please send the names over and I will perm I, I will roast the fuck out of them and permanent them Damn. I got the impression that when you were saying the stuff that you were at the time you probably didn't realize the effect that it might have made outside of your community because I don't think that you realized that you would get in trouble for like incel baiting right because I think that's why you got banned that time um, or am I wrong in the assertion? I don't know. That was my impression that I got. You could be right, but it wasn't my intention. And I quickly learned after three years that intention versus, or not three years, but I quickly learned probably, probably like by 2019, because I, I haven't been banned on Twitch or Warren for f since 2018. So I learned quickly that intention versus effect are two different things. And that's that's why now, when if you watch my streams, I clarify like 15 different times what I'm talking about. So um, if ever my intention got kind of twisted and the effect came out to be, you know, kind of negative or it caused you any like bullshit, I do apologize, even though I guess it's too late for that and you went through it. 
So if there's anything I could do in terms of like banning those fucking losers, I'll happily do that. Um, I mean, you, you've always been decent to me. It's fine. Like I spoke to you in the past. It was all right. I don't know if you remember me, though. Like, <laughs> I do. I do. Oh, you do. I do remember you. Of course, I remember you. Yeah. All Sorry, right, I didn't I'm say like... hello when you first came in. <laughs> I was. Like, I what was did I do? Yeah. I, no, I was hyper focused <laughs> on this uh, conversation with Pixie here, um, while I was also looking up if the taco place was open. So. I already can't multitask, so yeah, tri triple tasking would have been. What would you call? Would we try tasking? I think we would just say multi. It's fine. Multi multitasking. Well, multi yeah, already wanna... implies multi multi, right? Okay, Pixie, go Stereo ahead. Task. Yeah, I didn't want to take up what Pixie was saying because I was no, trying to get where you were coming from with the bit that you were bringing up. Yeah, yeah go, go I mean, Pixie. to me, that was just like the main question because, like, that's what I was like most confused about. I just wanted to hear straight from your mouth. Um, yeah, I'm no, sorry. I I'm sorry. Like, I'm apologizing or right now or ahead of time or before, well, I don't know. But I'm like sorry if I came across as like just trying to like I don't know make you look bad or whatever because that honestly wasn't my intention. I just like asking questions and like hearing it directly from people. So yeah. and, and I apologize for, you know. For mistaking you for someone else and kind of i was equally as rude to be fair i kind of <laughs> you know what i mean like i mean that's kind of how i am I'm, I'm more blunt about things but it could have since you don't know me know me like that it could have came off equally as rude so i apologize as well wow 